hello everyone uh, so today i will uh, just show a demo of uh, how to do a layout for a simple inverter in tsmc 65 nanometer technology so at first uh, you have to make a schematic i have already made one schematic i will just sh show you the screen it's a simple uh, i have taken one nmos and one pmos uh, from TSMC 65 uh, nanometer library and I have connected them through wires uh, then what I have done I have went I went to launch and I started layout excel so I will show you the layout excel window so a window like this will pop up and I have already uh, made one layout uh, using uh, using those extracted views. Uh, you can go from can get the extracted view from connectivity and extra extract all from sources. Since I have already extracted, that option is not coming. So after that, I have connected uh, the gate terminals uh, with polysilicon layer, as you can see. Uh, then. I have uh, connected the drain terminals uh, and uh, took it to the output pin then I took one wire and through that wire I have connected uh, the input terminal and uh, the gate terminal since the gate terminal uh, is a polysilicon layer and output terminal is a metal one layer so we may need one wire then uh, we uh, put labels uh, to all the pin uh, VDD output input and ground then we did check and save the next task is uh, to do uh, design rule uh, to check design rule for that we are using caliber tool uh, in caliber tool we will uh, start a run nanometer DRC here uh, I have already made one run set file I will just upload that so the steps are like this uh, in rules tab you have to uh, show uh, the location of rule file for caliber the rule file starts with caliber.drc the next step is uh, to add a run directory so I have made one run directory tsmc dash caliber now I will run the drc I am getting some errors uh, 24 errors so all these errors are density errors uh, CSR dot DOD dot or PO dot DM dot ESD dot so these errors can be neglected as of now if you want to see the location of these errors just select here and click on this sign it will show you the location of your errors on the layout window okay so next step is uh, doing elevate So again you have to load caliber.lvs file 
and the uh, LVS run directory. Now I will run LVS. So this tick and a smiley shows that your layout and schematic matches properly. Next step is uh, doing pecs. What I did is just going to caliber run pecs so it will open one another interactive window then you have to select your rule file tsms run directory format in format you have to keep uh, formatted dspf file and username from a schematic uh, here you have to select extracting extraction type as r plus c plus cc in input you have uh, selected format as gds2 then do export from layout Here in PEX option you have to name the ground node as GND then output R should be selected output C location should be selected the next step is to run PEX So here our uh, PEX uh, is completed. Now it it has generated one uh, PEX dot netlist file. We'll use this file uh, in uh, the inverter test bench to run simulation. So the next step is uh, I will just open my inverter test bench. This is my inverter test bench. Now I will open, or either you can launch your ADU. I already have some saved states, so I will load those states. So the next step is uh, to upload that file uh, in ADL window so I have already uploaded the DSPF file so it was inside my run directory TSMC CL caliber and the file name was inverter.pex.netlist so I will save this and what I will do I will append so that we can check uh, both the outputs that is with fix and without fix in the same result window
we can change color also so so these are the outputs and these are the inputs after text next step is uh, to do the simulation without text so what i will do i'll just uncheck this It's almost almost similar since there are were, there were very few parasitics uh, in the inverter so this output and this output are almost similar how to check uh, that uh, we have all uh, taken the pex files uh, using uh, pex simulation so i will what i will do i will just run it once again go out and it's not i will just want to show you how it's taking those files so we'll uh, check this again so this was the log file this log file you can see The sub circuit inverter defined in file input.scs uh, will be replaced with sub circuit inverter specified in DSPF file, whatever location we have mentioned earlier. So, this means it is taking uh, your extracted netlist uh, to run the PEX. So, this was the DC analysis with and without PEX. So, uh, you can see a slight difference in DC analysis and change the color so this was uh, with without PEX and this was with PEX similarly a little slight, slight variation in PEX is shown with and without PEX and that's all thank you